y'all welcome to my channel i'm jaylynn and in this video i'll be showing you how i got these really cute mini twists and this skunk stripe on natural hair y'all it's very protective super easy and i absolutely love wearing my hair in mini twists it gives me an excuse to be lazy but my hair is protected so there's no guilt involved all i have to do is get up and go and maybe do my edges maybe not i might throw on a headband so mini twists are definitely my go-to if you want to put a twist to your mini twist and add some pop of color i showed you how to in this video so if you're interested in knowing exactly how i got this style make sure you keep on watching but before we get into the video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for me i really appreciate it and yeah so i'm gonna stop rambling and we're just gonna jump right into it i'm about to go ahead and start doing my hair so i didn't have time to do it this morning as you can see it's just in this little puff because i had to throw it in this after i got out the shower because i decided to wash my hair this morning but i did not have time to style it because i got dressed at 11 and my class started at 12 30 and knowing me if I started on my hair, I would not have went to class. So I was like, you know what? Let me be a studious little student. And it is my last semester. So your girl needs to get her butt in them classes so I can pass. So yeah, it's two now. And we're just going to get right into the style. So I saw Goldie Naps and your truly talented beauty on Instagram do these mini twists with a stripe of color which is also called the skunk stripe and because the skunk stripe trend is still kind of going on and i think it's really cute but i don't want to bleach my hair or anything i thought this was a really cute protective alternative so i have some hair paint wax with me today um i definitely don't know what color i'm going to be using so this might be a surprise to you by the end of this video if you didn't peek the thumbnail but yeah um i I don't know because Goldie Naps used blue and that was really cute, but I'm really feeling the red. So yeah, I'm more leaning towards the red hair paint wax, but we'll see. So I've already coated my hair with Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I just got this from Walmart one time when I ran out of all of my hair products and I was more leaning towards this in particular because it had apple cider vinegar in it which I never heard a hair product having that in it and I used to like drink it so and it was terrible but it had benefits so I was like hmm what will it do for my hair I've had it for a while I don't know exactly what it's done but I don't know if you could tell I have used a large chunk of this stuff and it smells interesting that's what I can say but yeah I already put that in my hair um for the twist I'm gonna use this curls blueberry bliss curl control jelly so that I can get some more elongation in my twist because I find that when I use a cream my twists shrink up a lot and I don't want that for this doll I really want them to be long and stay that way for the most part so that's why i'm using this little control jelly and yeah that's basically what i'm going to be using for my styling i have my dimming brush and then some jamaican black castor oil for my scalp but yeah we're just going to get right into it i feel like if you're not new to my channel you've already seen me twist my hair a lot and twisting is a simple process um, so I'm probably going to fast forward through the twisting part of this video that doesn't include the color and then I'll hop back on here to tell you which color I decided to use and show you how I use it and how it blends with my hair and hopefully the results are super cute y'all. So yeah, we're just going to get right into it.
keep in mind the hair paint wax that I have I've had for a while so it is a bit dried out that's why the application isn't as smooth as it would be if the hair paint wax was brand new So I'm back y'all and this is how my hair looks. This is the finished product. My twists are completely dry um, and they're giving really bouncy as you can see, juicy, even when they're dry. And this is what the skunk stripe looks like now. It's definitely giving like a muted maroon burgundy color now it's definitely not as vibrant as it was on the first day of me putting in the color as y'all saw previously um it has been two days since so it is a good possibility that the color transferred onto my bonnet or i guess my hair just like soaked in the coloring material but I think it's really cute. It gives a little subtle touch. Um, I'm definitely gonna end up doing more little skunk stripe and patches on my hair because it didn't create as much of a mess as it would if I were to use the coloring material on my whole head. So I really like that. And it gives a little nice subtle little pop of color. So yeah, if you are looking to do the skunk stripe on mini twist, let me know how you would do it, what color you would use um and what color should i use next um i have green but i don't know how that would look on my black hair and also i i like how the red is kind of giving a more natural hue because people actually thought i dyed my hair y'all and i thought it was pretty obvious that this was wax but apparently not so i was like ooh, <laughs> they thought i switched it up on them but yeah um <laughs> anyway y'all i hope you enjoyed this video if you did and you want to see more of me from me and all that jazz make sure to subscribe to my channel go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up for me and do not forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever i make new videos like this i love you guys so much thank you for sticking around and i'll see you all in the next video bye y'all